ebonycruise.com y'all know I'm super excited about this if you just watched my live I put the number already in the comments so you guys can get going and uh, call in and ask questions etc but before I get going um, I wanted to because it's some new people that are listening who may not even know who Ebony Cruz is and so you're like why should I even be listening to this girl and then who is this guest she brought up in here like why do I even want to listen to these so today I want to talk about um, just the stories in general um, it took me a little minute to figure out what I really wanted to do so um, I decided to come online and learn how to brand a business build a business online so I could be you know that mom that's there 24 7 is not working nine to five and working an extra part-time job I wanted to make the money to be home with my kids and so success with Ebony Cruz started off with that and wanting to build other women other businesses and it started off with straight women right but then the men like dang like you ain't gonna look out for us building our businesses <laughs> so I had to be like all right, I can help you guys out as well, as long as you're coming to me from a great place. Because, you know, sometimes some of y'all fellas be, you know, they be having some other side agendas going on. All right. So today I have with me in the studio, Miss White Chocolate. All right. So when I posted White Chocolate's flyer for the very first time, I had a couple of people like, so who is White Chocolate? We got a phone call. All right, let's take the phone call. What's up, Carla? You on there? Hello, hello, hello. They scared. That's all right. Scared calls don't get calls. <laughs> <laughs> so they was like, okay, who is this white chocolate? And like, what does she even know about Brandon? Eb, like, I've seen people that you've had on before, but I don't know this girl. Like, give us some more information about who this person is. And so I'm like, you got to tune in. Um, you know, listen, I have met her at an event and I love what she talks about. I love what she stands for. I love what she does. Um, and I do think when it comes to branding, you all can learn a whole lot about how she has branded not just her magazine, but herself. You know, um, she's branded not based on I'm just doing a magazine and et cetera, but she's branded herself on a level of her integrity, who she is, what she stands for, the value of her company. So this is why this is super important that we have around here because you can take everyday people and they can turn passion into purpose and start really banking whether you know it or not. So. Let me go ahead and introduce my girl. Yes, <laughs> yes. You better know it, girl. Engineering at its finest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, you know, before we get to the business part about it, let's talk about you in general as just your story and how you even became into doing business um, and, and starting your own magazine. So let's just talk about, you know, some of the things that we don't got to go too deep of, you know, what shaped you into who we know today as White Chocolate. Oh, wow. Well, what's going on, you guys? It's your girl, White Chocolate, Bay Life Entertainment Magazine. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, that volume is amazing. <laughs> it's not mine. I'm on live. Um, you guys, turn your phones off. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, I mean, Jesus, where do I start? I kind of allowed my, I turned my pain into purpose, <clears throat> to be honest with you. And that's what has made me such a strong person that I am today um, because I have been through so much. So instead of being a victim to my circumstances, I kind of, um, you know, when it, when the bills are due, uh, the landlord doesn't want to hear no excuses. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Excuses are tools used by the weak and incompetent used to build monuments of absolutely nothing. So sure. therefore... Um, you know, I just don't have time. When when I look at my kids every morning, they're they're my motivation. And so, um, a lot of times, people don't realize. <clears throat> you know, people try to tell me how to act or how to conduct myself. Or girl, you too ghetto. Yeah, and, girl, you too this. Or you too this. But guess what? Those mouths don't get fed. Well, let me ask you something, because I'm sure you run into a lot of, you know, the sisters, mm -hmm. assuming that you act or portray a certain way, that mm -hmm. this isn't who you really are. Right. Since I've known you, <laughs> this is all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten much different. So, um, you know, when you first, when you were growing up, like, how did you just get into this confidence where it's more so, this is me. It's not me right. changing anything. Okay, so if you want to bring it back, back to, like, growing up. Um, you know, I, I I don't come from anything. So, like, my mother, she's a drug addict. And my father, he kind of disowned me because of the culture that I so choose to uh, partake in. And, uh, you know, the men that I choose to, you know, be with or whatever the case may be. 
So um, I really don't have any family. Mm. Um, so, you know, I kind of was raised in the hood. Like, this is me. Just like you said a minute ago, the time that, I'm always the same. From the time that you meet me to the time you ever stop talking to me, I, I, I will always be the same person. I don't change. There's nothing fake. There's nothing phony about me. So as far as what you were saying a few minutes ago, as far as the sisters, um, when you're a genuine person, you can tell one genuine person to another genuine person. So sometimes people, you know, there are a lot of white girls that portray themselves to be something that they're not or have been spoon fed and et cetera, et cetera. But that's definitely not who I am. Um, so once I get to know people, just like you, girl, you love me. <laughs> Ebony love me, girl. I I do. And the crazy part about it is that um, I know when she first met me, she was like, you got a little, little hood in you. <laughs> <laughs> I know I met you doing business, but I can right. see it a little bit. Um, we need to work together. And what I liked about her is that not a lot of women will actually reach out to you to work. You know, right. they may see you and they may be like, oh, it's all right. But, you know, she took it upon but, but, herself. But time out, though, that is that is exactly what is wrong with the industry today. See, because the thing about me, I'm not trying to portray myself to be somebody that I'm not. And that's the difference. I'm me. Either you like me or you don't like me. There's, is, there's no gray area with me. You either like me or you don't. Right. And 90% do like me. And even the ones that don't like me. They like They you. really do like right. me. They just don't know how to... Um, you know, to them, because the way, you know, it, it, it has a lot to do with your upbringing, too. Like, if you're loud, you're ghetto. Right. If you act a certain way, then you're this. But really and truthfully, I don't live my life for other people. I live my life for myself. Right. I, I do what makes me happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, I get the culture vulture. I get yeah. the white girl, this. I get all that stuff. That does not bother me because I've listened to it all my life. And most of the time, the people that are saying that, they don't like them. Am I allowed to cuss? They don't like their damn selves. <laughs> she looked at him like, Daddy, can you we <laughs> Let me ask for a position Just a little bit. But, you know, most of the people, they don't like themselves. So, you know, why am I going to sit here and live my life? And I, and I used to be like that. Right. Trust me, it used to bother me. It used to bother me because I'd be like, no, I'm not trying to act anything than, other than who I am. Right. I am me. That's it. I have a sincere heart. I got a, I'm a genuine person. And I want to see everybody evolve in, in what they're doing, period. See, there's a difference between me and other people. And, and just to reiterate on what you were saying a minute ago as far as other people in business, people don't realize <clears throat> they're so busy focusing on other people and what other people are doing and what other people are not doing or who's getting ahead quicker and they're not staying in their lane. If you stay in your lane, do what you want to do that makes you happy and stop worrying about other people, what other people, what you're doing, it should be successful right. no matter what it is. If you want to sell chicken at the corner. So let's get into, you know, <clears throat> getting into the brand. Before there was Bay Life, mm -hmm. you were building your own brand as yourself online. You know, and at that time, I'm not even sure if you were aware that you were building a brand. You were just being you. I was. You know, um, what are some things that um, that you would share in regards to how you attracted your tribe? How do you attract the people to support your movement? Because, you know, the thing about it is once you attract your tribe online, you could post and talk about anything. And, and you, once you build that trust to where they support you and they believe in if you say this product is a good product, they believe in it. And they want it, you know, and they want to do it and they'll buy it. So when you were building your brand, when you were just first starting off posting and talking about certain things, what how did you start off pretty much putting white chocolate out there? What were some of the things you started doing online? And is there a particular platform that you would suggest? Well, I mean, to be honest with you, me being my crazy self, like that's why I said it's really hard to um, determine to be me mm -hmm. or to be like the professionalism so i'm i'm trying to find like a happy medium <laughs> because it's like i did i i'm known for going live everybody who is this crazy i've gone viral like a half a million views i mean i've i've gone viral quite a few times with my live videos so and i remember the one live video i said the n-word but it wasn't like in a uh a, a right, yeah right. it was like to me in 2018 2019 the, the, the word is used as a term of endearment. It really is. But you know what I'm saying? Everybody everybody has their own views and opinions. Right. You know, they right. everybody's entitled. But I'm just saying. So I said that 
and uh, it was so much controversy online. But that's really what like that was the flew. kicked off white chocolate. That was well, no, because I've always been white chocolate. And I've gone viral, but that was like the kickoff when I really did like some major numbers. Got you, got so, you. So, um, but you know that had a lot of people drawn to me and then people started following me and then I got a lot of times I got the you know white chocolate at first a lot of people portray themselves to be something that they're not but I've been following you for a long time now and I really respect you I respect what you're doing and I, I really have become very fond of you to the point where I've gained a lot of fans because of it okay that still follow me that still follow my movements my events and things of that nature so you know. So let's talk to the entrepreneur that's sitting out there. It's 2019, right? And mm-hmm. you know how uh, 2019, everyone is new me, new year, new life, you know? People I hate going that. back to school, people want to lose weight. Now, I go to the gym on a regular, so I told y'all I was going to the gym. So this ain't, no new, <laughs> this ain't no new me, nothing. This is like me, all right? I ain't but- get no invite. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get you want to get get extra fine with me 2019 girl, girl. yes girl. okay now all right. I'm, I'm gonna get extra fine 2019 i'm going straight to dr miami <laughs> <laughs> oh you're gonna do it the easy so i do need a little something back there but <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway little booties do matter so i'm gonna go ahead they and put do. that out there but um big booties matter so more. if you were oh lord i see <laughs> <laughs> if you were talking to that one person that is on edge and a lot of people that I work with, they are afraid to get going. The main thing that stops them is just getting started <clears throat> is, is just taking that first step. So what is the first step that you could suggest in regards to people um, starting that business or getting that vision out of their head onto paper so they can start making the plan? What's the first step? <clears throat> You know, there's a saying um, that I tell people a lot because I'm a mentor and an activist as well. I ask people all the time, are you living or are you living? With saying that, um, stop sitting around waiting for other people, depending on other people. Will you want to do something? Do it. You come up with a plan. You sit down. You figure it out. Get your little notebook, your little pen, and figure it out and stop making excuses. Now, here's the the main excuse that I hear is I don't have the money. I don't have the money and I don't have the time. I'm a single mother. I get no government assistance, no food stamps, no housing, nothing. I wake up every morning and no offense, but I'm not going to work for the white man. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that's just me. All right. So, therefore, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying I'm not I, I'm I've been in business. I want to say since 2004. I have had my own business license, occupational license. A lot of people don't really realize all you have to do is figure figure it out. Like, right. make phone calls. It's not that hard. <coughs> I remember I called um, down to, not the courthouse, I called down to the um, the tax collector's office and asked them how much the occupational license was. And I believe they only, it was like $22. Yeah, they're, they're not they're not. It's expensive. not expensive. It just depends on what you know type of business that you're trying to get into um because i think they charge you like for the cleaning supplies or like the disposal of and All things right. of that nature i don't mean to catch up but we're gonna come back no, to no, that because no, when we come back from break we're gonna get into a little bit more about branding in itself you listen to on the cruise right here Absolutely. on in touch radio where everyone is a star the views and opinions expressed on this show are those of the host guests and callers who are responsible for their content and do not reflect the opinions of in touch radio or its staff Reality Radio, where everyone's a star. Don't you move. My name is Gil Sampson. 
I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I uh, got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college. You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years, and a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures Scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Right. <laughs> hey. But he said he's gonna kiss me on my mouth. Oh, yeah. Twenty nineteen. They yeah. say that they never see me with a man. They never see me in a relationship in years, which is true. So he said he gonna kiss me on my mouth. Well, you know, sometimes relationships can slow you down when you're running for your vision, especially if you're not. And I'm gonna say this in a, in a respectful way: if you're married and stuff like that, that's a different story. But when you're kind of like getting a new relationships, one can thing you about when somebody just walks up to you and just kisses you in your mouth. One thing. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> Maybe a combination. I, I was going to say, I me, to, the thug and white chocolate. I'm a it may be a combination. One, two, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Um, but we what, know you got a secret lover, Snow. But when, um, but when, <laughs> but when, um, you know, you in business and stuff, I like, I struggle with this at times is when I'm working is that sometimes they don't understand your, your hustle. Sometimes they think that, you know, you need to be home a little bit more, but we're going to get off of that and get into, you know, Bay Life Entertainment. We talked about White Chocolate. We talked about, you know, how she came online, just doing her own regular lives. Like at the time, it wasn't even a mission to do nothing. She just was doing her, but which is, has turned into something else. Her vision that was already in her head, it actually helped explode that. And that is Bay Life Entertainment Magazine. And I'm going to show it on this side too. That is the magazine, right? So now with this magazine... Oh, that's right. My bad. Ah, they life. All right. So with this magazine, um, first, how did it get started? Um, what was the support behind it? And then the groundwork, because you're all over the like it, this magazine has been in some serious hands. And so, you know, the, the groundwork that it took for you to get it going. <clears throat> um, honestly, like uh, the last major content in the state was Ozone Magazine and shout out to Julia Beverly. And Julia does not do the magazine anymore. And the content is pretty much gone. A lot of people, um, you know, try to discourage me and say they tried magazines and it's not going to work. It's not going to work. But, you know, me in my head, I'm like, just because something doesn't work for you doesn't mean it's not going to work for me. So a lot of you guys, once again, stop listening to other people around you. Right. <clears throat> Anything that I put my heart to do, I do. And I do it successfully. So um, I was very strategic on how I did the magazine. As you see, the magazine is not big. Um, it's it's feasible. You could put it in the glove box. You could put it in your drawer or whatever the case may be. I made the magazine free to the public. Um, so th I make my money off the advertising. I have uh, major sponsors. I have corporate sponsors. Um, you can find the magazine in every DTLR. Shout out to DTLR. That's one of my major distribution locations. Um, we are actually building five locations down in the Metro Dade area down in Miami. Okay. Um, so we're going to have five more locations on top of the 14 locations that we already have. That you can find it in salons, studios, everywhere. Um, I mean, there's just there's really no content. And we really do need to bring content back. Every, everything is digital now. Yeah. And, and and that's OK that everything is digital. But here's the thing. Um, if we're all sitting here and you have, you know, people inside the studio with you, which 90 percent of the time people do have 10 people in the studio with them. What are they going to do when they're sitting on the chairs and there's a table right here and you see Bell Life Entertainment magazine? They're going to see what's up. And especially when they see the content and they see that it's I mean, the, shout out to my graphic designer, P Fresh. Awesome graphic designer if you need one. Um, you know, he does a fantastic job to people want to pick up the magazine. I mean, the magazine, put it like this. We just released February 1st th this last year. 
So it's been 10 months now, 11 mm-hmm. months. Mm-hmm. We are at almost 2 million via social media analytics. Um, the magazine has been in hands from, I mean, I've been on multiple iHeart stations, still on a press tour right now to reach the masses. Um, DJ MV Breakfast Club, 50 Cent, Cardi B, T.I. Uh, I mean, the magazine has been in so many celebrities' hands. It's crazy. The magazine is crazy. Um, we don't print one, 200 copies. We print one to 2,000 copies. Uh, most companies like the Source Magazine, they, mm-hmm. they'll they send each distribution location like three to six copies. I send 20 to 50 copies to each distribution location. And it's crazy because they're like... Um, you know, I got the DTL location. It's like, why chocolate? They're going so fast. So let me ask you something. Now, would you even toy with the idea of putting this online? You know, I am. This- no, no, I am. Okay. I am. Okay. We, we, we are. Well, because I'm going to also, um, I'm figuring ways to, you know, get more revenue from the right. magazine. Right. So I am. I'll probably put it on there like for like 99 cents or something right. like that, you know, to get the subscription digital. Subscription thing type Right, thing. right, right. Okay. Um, and then once all the copies are gone as well, what I do, even though I'm still, you know, sending out 30 to 50 magazines to each distribution location, um, if you want the magazine, you don't want to wait and things of that nature, you send me $5. Mm-hmm. It's a dollar to, to send it. So it's technically $4 and you can get a copy right now. All right, so let me just recap real quick. So before the break, we talked about just branding in itself. And so when we we talked about branding, we talked about her branding herself, not the actual business. And this is why I got to get people to understand, especially when you come online doing business. A lot of those that are in network marketing or doing different MLMs or different products, you brand the product and not yourself. And what happens with that is, say, for instance, that business go out of business. What do you have now? Now you have to rebuild who you are because you were putting all, everything into that product. A, a way of branding online is branding you the person because you the person is not going out of style. There's not anyone else like you. There, you're authentic. No one can trick and trade and turn who you are. People get to know who you are as a person. So although White Chocolate started off as doing crazy lives to build her audience, and that was something that she just did off the strength of I want to be me, mm-hmm. it had has now turned into a business in itself. So that's the key thing I need you guys to understand is when you come online to do business, you are branding you the person. Now, some of us, that might be tricky because we come online as other people. We don't come online as our authentic self. Mm-hmm. And that is key as being authentic to your person. You just, what you stand for. You know, um, I watched one of your lives where you were upset with, um, it was something with the mayor you were talking about. And you were upset and you were just like, you know, we got kids out here. You guys need to pay attention to what's going on with these kids. Da, 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 da. Oh, the school buses. Yeah, the school bus. Right. Yeah. But see, that's part of your brand. Mm-hmm. Think about <clears throat> other mothers, other parents who saw that and really believe in this other part of white chocolate that we didn't know. Right. Now, we may know the crazy side. Right, right, right. But right, now right. we get to see her passionate side. And but so- that's, and that's, that's how I build my fan base, though, too, because like I said, me being just who I I am I'm a sincere genuine person I didn't just turn around and just want to blow up one day and that's just that's just my God-given gift that's the you know I walk with God every day so therefore the, I, I have my purpose you know what I'm saying my, right. my pain is turned into a purpose and that's awesome and that was planned before I knew about it you know right. but um you know and you know I do the stop the violence I do the uh, out of darkness community walk through the suicide prevent the national suicide prevention I do a lot of things I just I just try to stand up for what's right and a lot of people, um, because they live their life based on other people's views and opinions, mothers, fathers, you should be quiet. If you're going somewhere, you need to be quiet or you're being too ghetto and all that other kind of stuff. But like I said, closed mouths don't get fed. If you walk in somewhere, how are you going to know if you if, if they want a, a piece of candy right there? How are you going to know you can't get a piece of candy if you don't ask? Right. All right. 813-444-9588. 813-444-9588. Call in, ask your questions. Now, all right, so aside from that, we got the lesson number one, Brandon yourself. Now, we going into the magazine. So when we first got started doing the magazine, what was your aim as far as your outlook of what you wanted the magazine to stand for? Because the magazine is a brand in itself. It stands for and represents its own without you or not. It represents its own. So what was the vision behind what you wanted the magazine to stand for? I mean, the magazine stands for me still. I'm my own brand. Everything that I, anything that I attach my name to has to be a certain way. Like I don't have I don't have to do stuff. Everything that I do has to be done a specific way. Right. So um, where, where I'm going in as far as, you know, picking the 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 um, 
the uh, artists that you have in, right. um, you know, sponsorship. That's where I'm going at. Like, okay, you know, right, right, right. right. Well, here's the thing with the with the magazine. I sat back for probably a year in the industry just before I got into the music industry just to see what where I could help. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, but and I do. I listen to a lot of artists. They they fuss that they don't have help. They fuss that they don't have people helping them. And a lot of people are kind of like scratching to get out of the industry and how they could blow and who's up next and things of that nature. So what I wanted to do was just kind of focus on, you know, people that are wanting to invest in themselves, people who are wanting to get themselves out there and things of that nature to um you know place them on that higher platform just to try to get them seen this is ma the magazine reaches maximum exposure you got people that have spent fifteen hundred dollars just to open up for ti ti is not even in the building nobody's seen you but the same people that you've been performing in front of <laughs> right give me fifteen hundred dollars i'm gonna put you on the front cover of the magazine and you're gonna be throughout the entire state of florida seen by millions of people Right. So with your squad getting across, getting everybody across the state of Florida, what is the team like? How do you get it across the state? Or is it just you? Do you have a street team? Right now, it's mainly me. I have a couple people on my team. P Fresh, J3, uh, uh, Whitney B Media Group. Uh, we just kind of brought Eb on board. No, it's Eb Bay Life too. She don't know it yet. <laughs> well, so, look, I already know because I'm telling you. She manhandled me at the end of the year. She called me and just basically told me, you know, what was up. And you know, in the first couple of times, I remember I didn't answer one time. She was like, "Oh no." She goes, she went through all social media. So she's like, "Yo." <laughs> I know you see me coming. <laughs> Look, that's why I have such a hard time getting a man because they think I'm trying to man and I'm like, no, listen, I just know everything's going to be okay. Just come on and do what yeah, I said to do and we're going like, to be all right. We go, she's like, I like your vibe. I like, I just like you. I feel like we can work and I, I don't do. work with a lot of women, but it's something about you that I just want to build this relationship. Because it's, listen, the truth is universal and energy does not lie. Energy that's is true. awesome. That's Here's true. the thing. And I tell people this all the time. You want to be your own brand. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm very humble. I'm I'm a very humble person. I don't bother people, but I'm funny as hell. Like I, I'm just I got a great personality. And I know that about myself. So here's the thing: if I want you to buy my t-shirts, how can you want to buy my t-shirts? But when I go on stage and I perform and I'm like f you f you f you, right. I'm the ish. And then I get off the stage and say, hey, do you want to buy my t-shirt? Like no, it doesn't work that way. When you're branding yourself, you have to be a positive vibe. You have to be a positive energy into the universe. You attract to have people right. want to be around you and to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when I met you, when I met Ebony at the uh, women empowering gr uh, group or event that we had shout out Brittany uh, in Hustler and Hustler Heels and Heel, I right. am a part of Hustler and Heels and um, you know it, it just I just feel like life is too short and people don't realize that when you're trying to brand yourself and get yourself out there all that attitude stuff doesn't do anything yeah, like you try I was to actually so be low. together I think you were so low too I don't know I was, I was. so low I was and um, I, I even slid in a little late y'all I ain't gonna lie to you I did <laughs> <laughs> I did I, I did too yeah <laughs> We was on black people time. Right. But see, she, I, you know, I just figured I was going last. You know what I'm saying? Right. So she was like, well, you good. So I, okay. But then when I get there, well, you got to move up a step because, you know, <laughs> two people ain't like, here. So you got to speak. I'm like, I got to speak now. I'm like, now I'm trying to eat. Like, <laughs> no, we was trying to get our mimosa on, okay? We was trying to get our mimosa you on. Know, we did run the mimosas back that day. I probably spoke on some stuff that I didn't even know I was speaking on that day. But listen, it was a great Sunday. But, you know, from that event, from that live event, it was a networking, you know, it was a networking thing. Um, and we linked up and, you know, now I know we kind of somewhat talked about, you know, doing a little conference and all this other right. stuff, you know. And not the typical conference because no no shade, you know, I ain't trying to throw any shade, but I'm kind of tired of the same conferences right. where, mm -hmm. you know, we come together. Everyone, nobody mix and mingle. Me too. You come with your crowd and you sit with your people. Right. And then the people who host an event, they don't even talk to you, you know, but they want you to buy tickets. Right. And then after the event is over, it's like, oh, nobody want to support and shit. Share, but right. God make me who I am. You know, like I'm over those. But events. you right, and, but you see, and that's that's exactly how I am. I don't. I'm the type of person I get agitated really quickly. I like to put action into what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like to where I wish that I had a little bit more of those group stuffs because I feel like I'm productive in what I do. Right, but see, that's where you make the group. That's what, see, what I'm right. saying. You know, like when I called you to come on the show, you was like, "What is it?" First of all, you didn't even really ask me what it was about. You was just like, "You doing it?" And I'm like, "Yeah." So you was like, "All right, cool." Because I'm a support. You know what I mean? Right. So I really appreciated that. All right, so looks like we got to go to break real quick. All right, guys, when we come back, you know, we're gonna jump into the last part of Bay Life and Miss White Chocolate. You listen to In Touch Radio, where everyone is a star. 
comes to reality radio, everyone is a star. I know that's right. On your smooth soul and R&B station. On the World Wide Web. Access, Access granted. granted. In Touch Radio. Hi, this is Dr. Veronica Walters, also known as Dr. V, the head of school at the Walters Academy for Entrepreneurship, a place that we like to call The Way, where we're educating today's youthpreneurs to be tomorrow's billionaires through social entrepreneurship. Do you have a student who's bored, frustrated, gifted, inquisitive, creative, business-minded, then maybe you need to check the way out. Listen, we have an educational platform that allows for individualized instruction. It's strength-based, project-based, and designed to help your students become the absolute best they can while starting their own business and being an entrepreneur. If you're looking for something different and you need to find a more excellent way, then you need to visit us at The Way. That's The Way, www.thewaetampa.org. Or you can call us at 813-603-7923. We look forward to showing your students a more excellent way at The Way. Hey, this is Agent Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecue? Come see them two brothers on the grill, located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some and get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. (laughs) <laughs> and we back <laughs> Listen to On The Cruise Your girl Ebony Cruise Now you can find Anything about Building a business Whether it's a blog YouTube Learning how What you need to do On success With EbonyCruise.com It is a platform That I have built For those that are In network marketing Those that are Entrepreneurs Bringing a traditional Business online I have taken um, Some of the platforms That I've used And put together So you all Don't have to do Much lead work You can just go Right to the site Check out the blogs Take some Facebook Facebook training if you need to Instagram training however you know unlike white chocolate she just went on and did her own thing but some of us do need some guidance you know what I mean and so that is what success with Ebony Cruise is all about it is about <coughs> helping impacting the masses on how to become your own boss and stop relying on the nine to five because what we don't know is those nine to fives are not secure they're not guaranteed and so you need to start learning how to make your own way all right so Back to Miss White Chocolate. Yeah, off air, you a crazy girl. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, we'll let, let's go into um, the transition of getting the magazine through. Because when I saw it with Boosie, I said, she's been some of everywhere. Um, how do you put the plan together and still be mom? Because at the end of the day, <clears throat> you are a mother of four. And so not only do you have to, you know, four different personalities, four different teachers, four different visions and goals, things that they want to do. But, you know, how did you put this tour together with a team, a very skeleton crew team, get it through the state, but still be mom to the kids? Well, I mean, my my daughter, shout out to my daughter. That's that. That's the CEO of Bay Life Entertainment. Everything right here. (laughs) Um, m- my children are very supportive of me. And like I said, you know, that, that fabrication stuff that we talked about earlier, I'm the same, even with my children, uh, them excuses, my kids know I don't play. I am the same person from the time I step foot on the ground to the time that I lay down. Um, and my children are a direct reflection of who I am. And my children are very supportive in everything that I do. So, um, you know, I, I mean, I-, I still go to the basketball. I still, I do everything. I just... I just don't make no excuses. If it's got to get done, it's got to get done. I don't do what a lot of people, I need a break. I need to rest. I need this. I need this. I I just don't do that. I just get up and I go and I make it happen. One way or another, I got to make it happen. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I can't fail my children. My children are dependent on me. So if I have to, whatever I have to do, if I have to move mountains for my children, I will do so. Listen to you moving out. Well, you know, I I definitely understand the with the grind, you know, because you know I got a baby, baby. No, <laughs> Eb- Ebony likes to lay down, lay down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, girl, come on, let's go talk about something. Like, girl, I'm just at the house chilling today. No, listen, <laughs> I try not to come out unless it's a networking thing or I'm making money. Like, I don't come out just to spend money. Right. Because, you know, like, a lot of my old homegirls, this one I don't have a lot of friends anymore. I'm just going to keep it real. Mm-hmm. If you're listening to old friends, this is why we ain't friends. I don't want to come out just to eat. Are you saying you're a bad friend, Eb? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Nah, see, you put me on the spot. <laughs> now, I 
don't want to come out just to eat and gossip and talk about the same people. You know, every time we link up, we talk about the same people. I, I don't want to yeah, do but, that. But I don't I talk don't about wanna, anything. That's the thing, though. You got to you got to choose your friends. See, this because is where when, I'm at. when you get when you get around friends, I don't see. I don't have time to sit there. The only thing that me and you talk about is maybe it's some bi- relationship stuff or business, business stuff. Right. And see, that's, that's where it. I don't I don't get out a lot unless it's about something that I'm networking for that mm-hmm. I can put together. That I'm going. I'm trying to do down the line. Mm-hmm. You know, or connection that I need to make because I could see a business thing going on and so I, you know I want to make this type of connection or like I'm hosting something or I'm working you right, know what right, I mean right. I don't really get out just to hang now some people may say now that's bad you need to have a personal life I do have a personal life mm-hmm. but I just don't get out to just go drink and hang out and it's not a purpose behind me doing it you right. know what I'm saying but the, but that go, that retaliates back to the people that you're choosing to be around because a lot of you guys don't realize that in, in, in females period you guys will get yourselves caught up into people can say I'm full of drama all they want to because I say how I feel but you won't get me into the gossiping and the he says and the she says a word about what the next person's doing because I don't care what the next person's doing. Right. I have, you heard what you just said. I got four kids, multiple businesses, and I need time for myself. So right. therefore, I don't have time to care about what Susie is doing with um, her kids last Friday night. I just don't care. I don't have time. Real quick, I want to shout out DJ Demp too. Uh, he's got Demp Week. I'm not sure if you know who DJ Demp is, but he is one of the biggest DJs in the state of Florida. What's paved up, the major Dem? way. Well, you know uh, what, Dem? Artists, give so. me give me a, a mix. I see this is what I want to do. I just, hey y'all, listen. If you're listening on White Chocolate's page, uh, so because this is a um, <clears throat> definitely new station and the owner, and I'm not even gonna say new. It is new in his vision of where he wants to do, okay. like as far as globally is concerned. And um, he's really wanting to take this to a new level where you are impacting the masses through all platforms. It could be through education, could be through music, could be through sports, could be through politics but you're you know educating right. you know the community and so one way that i was thinking for me is um to have different intros from different djs you know so a little okay. small mix you know throw, i can help you with that yeah throw on the cruise so we know it's on the cruise and of mm-hmm. course put your name in there but right. you know for you know <clears throat> month one or first two weeks or whatever you have a small mix you know he just said white chocolate is awesome i'm pretty sure the demp will definitely um do a drop you know i from dj win all the major yeah. djs that are in the state we could definitely try to uh, make sure that we get you guys some drops and stuff like that we'll yeah. definitely make that happen so white chocolate doesn't even know that she's actually on the cruise as well um, for the artist section that um, we're gonna you know highlight different like different music because okay. entre- although this show is about entrepreneurship you know it's entrepreneurship in different areas different backgrounds okay. you know um, so uh, that's the, it's on air it's on tape it's on live <laughs> <laughs> right right, right. We're, gonna, we're gonna do it but um, you forgot right. you forgot too because I know you were talking about the magazine and mom and everything you forgot that I'm also on two radio stations as well I do radio yeah. too yeah, yeah. Last week you were just hosting an event in the park. Event in the park, right? Uh, yeah, it was the 99 Gems end of the year bash. I was the, the main host. Yeah, yeah. I'm always hosting. Yeah. I'm always somewhere. You. I'm, t- I'm telling you see a part of with my brand originally I was um, radio uh, I was um, Tom Joyner local representative here you in Tampa you do great and the crazy part about it is like when I took when I told people I'm like listen I want to teach people how to do business they was like girl you so crazy what's this entertainment again no for real like I don't want to entertain I want to show people how to make money but, but, but to- people 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 like that of what you just mentioned I try to stay free and clear of those kind of people. As soon as you make a negative comment to me like that, I don't even want to be in your presence anymore. Because anything that I say that I'm going to do and I get chills when I say that, anything that I want to do or set my mind to doing, I am going to do and I'm going to do it the best. Right. Well, it took a year, about a little bit over a year. Um, I went back to grad school, got my master's, mm-hmm. um, and extended my family <laughs> all at the same time. Because uh, it's funny, crazy. I was walking across the stage with a big belly, right? Everybody in my <laughs> class was like, everybody, my, they were like, we didn't know you was pregnant the whole time. I'm like, I'm trying to tell you this. That's how the good. hustle is, right? That's how it is. So had the baby, and just jump straight back into it mm-hmm. and um, like I said for a long time people here in the city of Tampa I love Tampa shout out to Tampa everybody that supports me they will always call me to host you know entertainment events and for me a lot of my audience is online a lot of the women that I work with they don't even live in the state of Florida right. so <clears throat> I had to like really put my foot down and say no the brand is teaching how to build a business online although mm-hmm. I know you get I, but I can't 
always post entertainment. Now, I will be there and I can show up, but I don't, I'm not putting that on my page. I want people to understand that I'm really taking learning how to do business online serious. So mm-hmm. when someone comes to me, they feel confident that they're paying me and I'm going to get them the right information. Right, right. You know, that, that was something that was real big for me. All right. So um, we talked about mom, being a mom. We talked about, we, we scratched the surface on relationships. You know, we said Snow got somebody undercover. Somebody said that already. And not how. <laughs> <laughs> no, they assume that, but I will say that I do have, um, for the first time in many, many years, I do have a friend that um, I'm, I'm in the process of uh, possibly committing to. Oh. Oh, we have to come back and talk about that. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we, we talked about the brand. Uh, we talked about the magazine in itself. All right, so for 2019, what is, if you could give us a sneak peek into where Bay Life Entertainment is going this year. Now, I know you don't want to put all the gems out, but right. just give us a little sneak peek. One second, we got a call coming through. Hey, caller, you're on there. Hey, this is Miss Singles Coach. How are y'all? We are How good. Are How are you? I am great. What's your question? Um, I know y'all was uh, talking about relationships. I um just got on. Yes. Oh, uh, I really didn't have a question. I was just um just <laughs> viewing. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for listening. We appreciate you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling. That's still that's still love. That's still that love. That is love. That's cute. I love it. She's like, well, I had a question. Okay, about. um you said for 2019. Well, to be honest with you, every single day, you know, everybody feels like I'm doing so much. They're always like, "Why chocolate? You are like you hit the ground running in the industry." I feel like I'm never doing enough. Oh, man. I, I've, I've struggled with that. I do. I, my brain, like, I'm always the last to go to sleep. I'm always the first up. I'm always, like, trying to figure out ways. You know, Peanut yep. will tell you, I'm always trying to figure out ways to do better and, and get better. And I said, I had all my kids at the table last night, and we were like, listen, in order for us, because I'm not a billionaire. So right. I, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm a struggling business owner just like everybody else is. So I'm just like, listen, y'all, we need like, they said seven businesses to become a millionaire. So we need to figure out what the rest of these businesses are going to be and start building a team. So, you know, I'm telling the kids, listen, you need to do this. You need to do this. You need to do this. Like, I'm not dependent on other people. Um, I feel like when you do something, sometimes it's best done with yourself. But I do 2019 need to start um, kind of depending on a team and building my team a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger and things of that nature. But just to come harder. That's it. Come harder, come bigger, come better. Come harder, do some collaborations, collaborations. This this is my year of collaboration. Um, For the longest, you know how you get burnt and you just don't want to work with a lot of people because you've been burned, you know, and you just kind of got the guard up. But this is um, my year for collaboration because um, now that I'm a little bit smarter than what I used to be when I first started coming through, I've kind of learned from, you know, a lot of the ups and downs. Um, Now I learn how to pick people to be a part of the team, you know, before you you just wanted it done so bad. You just kind of, okay, well, this person, they they may help out, but you didn't really see that person. But you just you just answered your own question instead of stopping once you hit a brick wall a lot of people want to give up Carla you're on there hey 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 it's all about collaboration speaking of collaborations this is Joel with Power Moves hey what's, what's up, up? Hey, chocolate what's going on baby <laughs> <laughs> chilling baby chilling baby I know that's what's right <laughs> yo this brother you on and, you on and popping this New Three York moms on the rise this New York right. art at its finest New York at its finest right here on there <laughs> okay 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 that's all right, right that's right yo y'all gotta Keep make sure what you're doing Appreciate Thank you, you so much. I appreciate you. Make sure y'all right, um, check my boy out Thanks. at 2 o'clock. He is Power Moves. Um, he showed mad love to me last week because, you know, this is my first show t- this week on the first episode one, whatever. This, this is episode set. one? Episode one. Girl, I love I, yes. I tell you oh. that. You see that? You see yes. That? No, I love that. I love that. And I would definitely see that's what I'm trying to say. If it is something to support somebody, I don't mind. A lot of people want me to come out to to, to stuff like that, and I, I really, to support, like, if it's something like this, I'm going to come. All right, we got to take another quick break. You're listening to On The Cruise right here on In Touch Radio, where everyone is a star. In Touch Radio, where you can listen to a cruising flow of smooth soul and jazz. Today's R&B, a fun touch of hip-hop and gospel. All my music on one station. Giving you a buffet of music, news, and entertainment. We're In Touch Radio. The other one. 
was before, so believe we hunted. Dial 813-248-6300. Everything gon' be okay, car Ricky, he coming. He taking care of state of Florida, grab a pen of sun. Dial 184-361-RIC. That's 184-367-425. Never word from the point forward, just recline. Just ask Ricky, push your boy statewide. Just in case you missed it, I'ma tell you one more time. 184361 Rick. Call Ricky, ask Ricky is a legal medical referral service. The doctors and lawyers are not network or trained in handling auto injury claims and giving you the best medical treatment and recovery. Dial 184361 Rick. That's 184361 7425. Ricky, 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 Ricky. Ask Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Hey, Tampa Bay. Want to cruise to Cuba? Tampa to Havana. We've got the best prices. Call Kinty Travel, 863-274-3715. That's Kinsey Travel, 863-274-3715. Baby, let's cruise. Hey, this is Miss K with K's Kitchen. Cooking Chicago-style fried chicken and fish with the authentic Chicago-style mouth sauce. Come check us out at 5508 North 50th Street in Tampa. We're open Wednesday through Saturday from 12 to 6 or you can call us at 813-368-5196. Again, that number is 813-368-5196. See you soon. And we are back. It's your girl, Ebony Cruz from SuccessfulEbonyCruz.com. And you are listening. I know y'all tired of the cruise, but y'all got to understand this life that we own, this journey that we own, it's a cruise, you know? So we got to cruise through it because sometimes you can have some bumpy road, may get a flat tire, but you still got to stay on the cruise. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to stop. So you are listening to On the Cruise right here on In Touch. Now, you can give us a call, 813-444-9588, or you can um, watch live, however you are watching. Now, we do have some people on Facebook, and Facebook, uh, I got a shout out, Sean Johnson. He's an online uh, Matter of fact He's my online Like like big brother Like that taught me A lot of doing business online Like this guy made $42,000 In like Two or three months Just doing oh, wow. online Yeah Like And then his trainer Mentor uh, Shout out Keisha Bass She made $100,000 um, Last year Through one online business Just oh, one wow. business Right so Well let is, them know I'm always trying to build And grow and all that stuff too So hit me up This is why I got in the The field of learning how to do business online because right. I was like wait wait so that's a real check like you made that on your computer <clears throat> and this past live the dream um, it's a company that I work with uh, it was my first time I was in the business for six months got uh, ranked up twice Got my L2 leadership, you know what I'm saying? Walking across the stage like, hey, as a newbie, super hey. excited. But this one company that, I mean, this couple that really grabbed my attention, this young couple, um, made $2.5 million last year. That was their first mm. time really doing it. And they were in the business <clears throat> for three years. The first year, they kind of played around with it, didn't really take it serious. Right. Went into that second year, getting serious about it. That third year, it was all <clears throat> about it. $2.5 million move their family from Minnesota right. down here to Florida like living the dream but that thing. but that goes back into in the business with Ebony Cruz in a lot of people consistently ask, ask questions and we're talking about branding right now that is a part of branding you guys cannot keep giving up anytime that you turn around and try something you can't just give up because it did not work you have to consistently try another try another way like somebody said to me the other day you know, I, I just went online. I'm like, dang, you know what? I never use my platform the way I should. And I know I could be bigger than what I am. It's just a little harder when, mm -hmm. you got, when you're just by yourself. So I turned around and I told them, I'm like, watch this. I'm going to make some money today just by one thing. Watch what I do. I put some posts up on Facebook and I said for $25 or $30, so that's an affordable price for mm -hmm. people who are, have low income, but they still want to get their brand out. I said, watch this. For $30, I'm going to make your post. I'm going to post your post on my platform for 24 hours. I made two hundred and seventy five dollars. Yeah, yeah, just that fast. Right. There are so many ways that you can make money. All you have to do is try to figure it out. Figure it out. Well, figure out your passion. Figure if out you whatever you want to do. You have a smartphone. There's yes. no reason you can't make money. All right. So the question is, what is the key part of branding? And I heard you guys say be authentic and be true to yourself and who you are. Right. But what is one of the most important things you all would say as a part of branding? Just like you just said, stop yeah. giving up. Yeah. Stop giving up. If it doesn't work, try, try, try again. In order to build your tribe, your tribe has to know you. So you do have to be. We got a call. All right, caller, you are on the line. What's going on? Hey, it's Reginald Gray coming to Conversations. How you doing? How you doing? What's going on, Reginald? What's up? I'm going to give you a shout-out for the first show. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Look at <laughs> We got the In Touch family showing out today, y'all. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Love.
love it. I love you. Thank you. Oh, I love you too because yeah, you no support doubt, my no girl. <laughs> you got and a question? I've been waiting for the last like two weeks. You got a question? Remember, I thought your show went on a couple of weeks ago and I messed that all up. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. He was like, wait a minute. I was tuned in. I ain't hear nothing but music. Like, why didn't you show up? So he had to make, he got to make up. He got to make up today. He got to make up today. Yeah, but no, uh, c- congrats. Great thing. And I'm watching the show and I'm learning a lot from you. Uh, turning at 1 p.m. for a couple of two conversations on In Touch News. And we're talking a lot about the Bucks. Um, Coach Search right now talking about the um, um, Alabama Clemson game coming up. And we also talking health and fitness with uh, one of our uh, spin, uh, spin class teachers from Power Back <laughs> Fitness. And, and one more thing, all this is going to be within 45 minutes. I know we got a time limit. When our show goes on, to bring in power moves. You ain't going to outdo me. I heard him on the radio a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. We love you. Yeah. We love you. But we only got a couple we minutes left. Exactly. We love you. In touch, family. <laughs> Listen, say, they is marketing and promoting and our show today. And, and same time. <laughs> he said, y'all said brand. <laughs> look, 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 look. We appreciate you, though. But see, you know what, though? That's something that I will do, though. Yeah. That is something I'm not, like, a lot of people think that they're too good to, to say something. But closed mouths don't get fed. That's I don't true. care about your view and opinion about me. If I come up to this event and get on stage, I don't care if you like me or you don't like me. You're going to learn what the heck I want to teach you real quick today. Right. So, wrapping up. Up, you know, somebody said when we come into Houston, whenever you get the venue and tell us where to be or tell White Chocolate where to be, we in Houston. You feel me? Like that's just it. It's, oh yeah, they've been they've been asking me to come. Oh my god, I got get, so much you gotta get you gotta world. get the venue going and keep and keep it pushing. That's how it started with me. Like Louisiana, shot Latanza's listen. She's super quiet, but Latanza, thank you so much. She got me coming out there too. Like awesome. I feel like that's something you know we make a slide out. And, All you guys got to do is book yeah. us, book us, and you guys are definitely gonna see a lot more of of White Chocolate and Ebony Cruz. I need uh, two thousand. Aha, that's what's up. Who that is? She's right. not like this all the time. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I do try to tone it down. Somebody got to tone it down. No, that's good though. But that's where you find that balance. Salt and pepper. <laughs> ah, yes. See, all right, all right. Let me go. Let's go ahead and get to we the uh, closing points. All right. So, um, so today. Um, real quick, just to recap, uh, we talked about branding. Great question uh, for the young lady that um, did ask the question online. But um, branding, when it comes to who you are, now you can't come on here shaking, twerking, twenty four seven, and then you want to brand like you this holy Christian person for your business. You got to be definitely consistent with what you're doing, yep. and you have to be authentic with what you're doing. <laughs> you got to um, put your value before you go online and build your brand. Understand what your values are. Understand what your purpose is in your mission mission is you know and it and it doesn't have to get all biblical and all you know understand your mission could be some just anything you know right. you, it, it doesn't have to be <clears throat> when uh, you stand for nothing you fall for anything and right. people don't really, you have to have some type of purpose right so make sure when you come online consistency is key if we see you two weeks from now you know you were hype 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 and then we just fall off for three weeks and you bet that's not consistency your mm-hmm. tribe cannot get to know you they can't get to learn you they can't get to trust you that's a part of building your brand and once you build you you can bring into everything you can get other sponsorships you can buy right. other stuff but it's a matter of building you up first because people are out there people want to spend money people are you every business has to put money a certain amount of money into their marketing and promotions and they and they use it as a tax write-off all you have to do is know how to get out there and get it real quick i do want to plug in um 2019 i'm trying with everything that i possibly can to release my perfume line oh as well nice mm-hmm. nice so, yeah that's what's up. I'm excited about I'm, my you, that's, you see, you just inspired me. You did because I've been for the longest. I'm a wine connoisseur. Like I drink wine, mm-hmm. and I have been saying for a couple of years, like you know, I, I was thinking about that too. Ah, yeah. I was. I'm like, I want to do my own wine. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. A, a, a red wine and a white wine. Oh, we gotta get off air. <laughs> But you see, listen, you guys, these are the type of people that you want to have around you when you're trying to evolve and do something in your life. It's, it's awesome. It really, it really is. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Um, so I know we got, what, a couple more minutes, about two or three more minutes. All right, two more minutes. Um, upcoming the, um, now I, I probably shouldn't even plug this because they do need to do some advertising with us, Black Heritage Festival. I'm going to get on you, William Sanders. Um, we need to do some advertising. But next Thursday, I do have a business expansion summit, and it is where um, a couple of speakers 
figures like myself come out at the um, Entrepreneur Collaborative Center. It is a free event, 1030 to 12. Um, it is on a Friday. So if you do work, take an early lunch or something, extended lunch, and come out and be up close and personal with the CPAs. We have um, the loan lender from the bank that's there that can tell you how do you get your loans. Right. We have um, a young lady there that is about cybersecurity to tell you how to set up your business to where you're not, you know, you can take payments and no one's your um you're not going to uh, put your customers in jeopardy by taking those payments. Now, a lot of people do PayPal and stuff like that, but you still want to have all of these blocks up so you can make sure. And if you're doing business globally, I don't know if you guys heard about the GDPR where you got to make sure that, you know, you can only take certain money from certain places without giving a lot of, yeah, girl, it's crazy by doing business online. You got to have a lot of protection up when it comes to selling to other countries because we can't <laughs> get in fault. Um, we got an attorney there. Of course, you have me there, you know, talking about marketing. So, if you're really trying to get serious in business for 2019, there is not a reason that you can't. You know, there's not a reason that you can't get started. You can't put your vision out there. We just talked to White Chocolate and she just told us how she turned her pain into purpose, which is making her a paycheck, right? You all can do the same exact thing. You just have to get serious, build you a new tribe, create your new environment, and get out to events to learn how to do it. Stop wishing and praying that you can do it and learn how to do it. So this is next <clears throat> thir- next Friday, January the 11th, 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. You can come out to the, if you're in Tampa, Florida, um, you can definitely come out to the uh, Entrepreneur Collaborative Center in Ebor. I will try to do live a little bit, but because I'm a speaker, I probably won't be live as much. Um, but it's, it's a great event to come and learn how to do business. And make sure that you guys follow me on all social media platforms, Baylife Entertainment Magazine. All right, this is the episode one of so many of teaching y'all how to do business online. It's your girl, Ebony Cruz, from Success with the Ebony Cruz, signing off. And thank you so much for listening to In Touch Radio, where everyone is a star. Peace. Dr. V, and you're listening to In Touch Radio, reality radio where everyone's a star. Don't you move. Ooh.